Hi guys. Uh, now today we are going to learn about uh, check keyword, which is also used for the constraints for creating constraints. In the SQL language, check keyword is used to create user specific or user defined constraints. So for any attribute, you can define any condition for inputting the data before inputting the data though that particular constraint will be verified. For example, if this uh, marks column, you want to apply a constraint that there cannot be negative marks in this column. So minimum marks uh, which can be entered in this column are zero and maximum marks which can be entered in this column should be greater than uh, should not be greater than 100. So if you want to create your own constraint, if you want to create your own conditions, you want to apply your own conditions on any attribute, you need to use check keyword. So now let's create a constraint which will be applied on this marks column to verify that what, whatever data is being inputted in this attribute, that data must be uh, greater than zero. If the data is less than zero, that there will be an error and that error will show that the inputted data is invalid and it's being violating the applied uh, check constraint. So let's try it uh, on try creating a table and uh, try to uh, verify if that particular constraint is working or not. So let's create a table called results. So the first attribute of this table is result ID. Uh, data type of this attribute will be uh, number. And then we have another attribute called course name. And the data type of this attribute will be varchar. And then we have another attribute called uh, marks. And then number or the size of this uh, data type of this attribute is number. And now if you want to apply the constraint check on this attribute, you need to apply uh, use keyword constraint and then write write the constraint name. Now the constraint name which I am writing is marks underscore uh, can underscore not uh, be uh, for example uh, less than zero less than underscore zero. So this is what I'm using the name. You can use any name you like. Uh, I'm just using this name. Okay. So now you have to mention the uh, uh, check condition. You just need to write check keyword. And then in the brackets, you need to mention the condition which you want to apply on the marks column. So I want to check marks if they are greater than zero. So if marks marks should be greater than and equal to zero. So if entering mark or the inputting marks are less than zero, there will be an error and uh, uh, query won't execute if the inputted marks are less than zero. So currently I have created a, a constraint. Uh, this is the name of the constraint and this constraint will check if the inputted marks are greater than equal to zero. If the inputted marks are less than equal to zero, then I'll get an error and that error shows that the inputted marks are not valid and I should correct those marks. So now let's execute this query and uh, Let's let me check. Let's make it a small name. Check. And now that's executed. Uh, there is an error in it. Uh, create a table. Uh, there is mistake. So create table. Now, if I execute it, uh, you can see the table is created and this check is applied on the marks column on this column marks column. So now let's verify if this is working fine to just inputting uh, and row in this table. So input uh, into table name is uh, results. Sorry. And now try to in trying to insert values. So the first column is ID. So one, uh, which is uh, the result ID and second is the course name. So I'm inserting course name as Java. Okay, and then I'm putting values which is less than zero, which is, uh, you know, minus 10. Now, if I try to execute this command, I'll get an error. Now, uh, insert into results and then values, values, and then now executing again. 
now see i get an error and the error says that check constraint marks underscore check is violated so that means this constraint is being violated because i am in inputting marks which are which are not greater than equal to 0 these are the less than equal to 0 so therefore less than 0 therefore i am getting this in error this error so what you need to do is you need to input marks that should be a great uh, equal to 0 or either marks should be greater than 0 so then I won't get any error. So let's execute it again. If I'm putting marks zero, see, I, I, what, I'm not getting an error. Now, if I'm uh, adding another course, and now inputting value as 90, and if I execute it, now you can see the marks are, you know, 90 and it's working fine. Now, if you want to do some practice on it, so you can just apply another uh, constraint on the same column marks and to check if the marks are greater than equal to 100, then if marks are greater than zero, then again, the same error should appear that you cannot insert, you know, greater than 100 marks. So marks should be less than or equal to 100. So for the for your practice, you can create another constraint uh, with, you know, this condition that marks should be less than or equal to zero. And uh, if user is trying to input, or if, if, if a user tries to input, you know, uh, greater marks than 100, then that user must get, uh, you know, error. So I hope it's clear. If you have any question, please post your question in the comment section. I will answer you. Thank you.